So you want to build one of these? You can. <laughs> Do not build this at home. So the basic components for this build are a boost converter. So this will take the 7.4 volts from the lithium polymer battery that we have and turn it into a claimed 400,000, I doubt it. But whatever voltage it steps it up to is substantial. Then we have our lithium polymer battery. I'm using a two cell battery. You can also use a nine volt battery, but the discharge rate on this thing is going to be much less than what you can get out of uh, from a LiPo battery. So your arc is going to be much stronger with this battery. Then you have a momentary switch. Then you have a male uh, Dean's connector. That just it's just whatever connector your li lipo battery is. And then your what's connecting to your high voltage outputs are two finishing nails, and we will cut those to a specific length. First, we gotta design housing for the boost converter, as well as the battery, and those two parts will snap together. Tricky getting these dimensions right. Then gonna 3D print it on <clears throat> my Ender 3v2. The parts are printed, but I messed up this design here. It is the same exact size. Instead of putting the two millimeters on the outside. Yeah, whatever, no one cares. Sorry. You gotta redesign it. So I'm making the radius on the female end of this connector just a little bit bigger than the male so that they fit tight and I will super glue those together. So I printed that little adapter. Super glued it on, you can't even tell. Can't even tell, it's just part of the thing. Now let's tidy everything up. Got this little nail guide here. Gonna trim up the wires. Alright. I finished it up. Looks nice. Let's test this out. Dude, okay. Do you see this? All right, I'm gonna take some stuff now. Oh. Wear ear protection. It's, it's too loud. Let's see if it lights anything on fire. Oh, definitely can. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. I noticed something interesting when I tased the fire, as fire is a conductor, so let's... <laughs> hmm. Fire definitely conducts electricity. So, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. What about some cardboard? Not really anything. It doesn't really do much. It just kind of tases below where it's supposed to tase. What about 3D printing filament? A little warm. Nothing really. What about old electronics? Oh, still there. Hmm. I wonder what that's doing. Looks like it's just affecting the display, not really anything else. 
definitely messes with the display. Hmm. If any of you guys know what's going on there, comment. I know I was just tasing the plastic, and I'm sure if I actually tased the circuit board, it would do a lot more damage. Let me know if you want to see an EMP with a copper coil and ceramic disc capacitors. Now just for comparison, I'm going to show you what this same uh, wiring for a taser looks like with just a 9 volt battery. As you can see, the arc is a lot less powerful as compared to the LiPo battery. The 9 volt battery can't discharge nearly as much current as that uh, lithium polymer battery can. It does sound cool though. Can this one light paper on fire? I don't think so. It does burn a little hole, but it's not. The arc isn't fast enough to catch it on fire. Nothing. Alright, so here's how it works. We got our boost converter here. Let's start here. So, we got our voltage source. We got an inductor. You got a switch. We got a diode. Uh. We got a capacitor. Oh, I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, then we got our outputs. High voltage outputs. Uh huh, that's what we want. That's what we're going for right there. So basically, now that you know that, and here, boop, boop, the positive is going to go like this up and then positive out negative just comes out and this is our connector to the battery and our battery is like this Boop. Boop. juice oh okay I can't mm. High voltage outputs, these are going to be two finishing nails, and they go zap. So that's literally it, it's so simple, but that's that's how it actually is. Please don't try this at home. No, but seriously don't, because uh, people with a heart condition can... Uh... Don't taste someone with a heart condition. Don't taste yourself at all, actually. It's... It's... Uh... Subscribe if you think I earned it. Like the video if you thought it was cool. Uh, my Patreon is linked on my channel page. That helps me do these projects as I pay for them all myself. Um, yeah, be safe. Don't do this. It's fun though. D uh, don't do it.